It was supposed to be a life saving trip to the hospital. A seven year old was receiving a bone marrow transplant from his sister. But COVID-19 crept in and this family had to say goodbye much sooner than expected. They shared their story with Erica Ferrando. A smiling face in a Saints jersey. More likely than not, that's how you'd find seven year old Messiah Howard. He had a Drew Brees action figure and he carried everywhere. His mother, Toka Howard, says that smile never faded, even during yet another hospital stay. He never complained. He never complained. He never complained. Everything he was going through TPN bags, all the needles. The hospital visits, he never complained. And on top of that, he was a straight A student on a high honor roll. Messiah was a fighter. At three years old, he was diagnosed with a disease called IPEX syndrome. It affects the immune system of males and is extremely rare, affecting only one in every 1.6 million people. It's hereditary, a generational curse, basically. When Messiah was born, we saw nothing of it. It's genetic and also took the life of Toka Howard's 17 year old son. My first son Elijah passed away in 2005. Messiah needed what was supposed to be a life saving bone marrow transplant. His big sister gave the ultimate selfless gift as his donor. She did it not only once, but she did it twice. The surgery was March 24th and his family says it was a success. He was actually recuperating from the bone marrow transplant. But they didn't expect what happened next. By April 16th, he was diagnosed with COVID. The coronavirus that was changing lives outside the hospital suddenly changed their lives inside the hospital. I didn't even think about his story ending. I had no idea that when we walked in children's this time, that we, was going, that we wasn't going to walk out together. Messiah was at Children's for six weeks on a ventilator and in intensive care. His body just couldn't take it anymore. After struggling with COVID-19 following his bone marrow transplant, Messiah died May 5th, 2020. You know, he was seven and the Holy Spirit was like, let me just go in on and take him home because he struggled. On the day of his funeral, his family wanted to share his story. We also wanted everybody to know that Super Messiah was the greatest kid, the greatest son, the greatest everything. They believe the complications from COVID-19 ultimately led to his death. I wanted to acknowledge the fact that this COVID thing is real. His funeral fell exactly two months after he was baptized and his family has peace knowing that. I feel the presence of the Holy Spirit in the midst of this. The pictures and memories remind this family of Messiah's love for school, his smile that lit up a room, and his fight to the end. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Messiah's parents and sister were all tested for COVID-19, and they all tested negative.